Hello, my name is Robert Kay. I am product specialist here at Atlas Copco. Today we're going to talk about Tools and 8. So let's get into the software. So Tools and 8 has an analysis center, and here you find a tool called Box Analysis. And this helps you find rundowns with missing washers, cross threads, and other joint related issues by taking a reference trace and comparing it with one or more user defined boxes to identify deviating traces. So depending on where we draw the boxes, the box analysis report will help you detect cross threads when a bolt is not seating correctly in the joint or when the bolt has begun to stretch past elasticity. These errors may have passed the upper and lower control limits defined for that program in the controller, which hides the false OK. So I start with selecting the date range and I'll look for my station and the program that I'm interested in. So I hit select, I'm looking for data that has been passed in the station. So they've passed all the rules and got a green light on the tool. And now I just need to select, create a box. I'm clicking with the mouse and dragging it. And then I can adjust the numbers here. And then click Calculate. So now ToolsNet is searching through the database and finding any trace that somehow passes through that box. So here you can see in the overview the program name, the traces that I looked through. So this has just saved me from manually reviewing 3,234 traces manually. So it found, based on this reference trace in the box, it found six rundowns or about 0.2% of the total that uh, somehow passed through the box. So you can see here the uh, VIN number or serial number and you can see the result date and time. You can see here they were passed in the station and according to this they are now not okay. This doesn't change anything in the database. This column here is just showing you the status according to these rules. So you can see here when I expand by clicking on the triangle you can see the uh, box that I just defined superimposed on that particular rundown. You can see the rundown reached the uh, target torque and it was within the limits. And you can see something happened along the rundown phase. I can see here, look at the next one. This barely touched the box, so maybe this is considered okay. And the next one. Uh, looks a little bit strange compared to the reference trace, but uh, let's take a look at the next one. And uh, this looks a bit different. And this one here is definitely quite similar to the first trace. And I can export this into an Excel document and then pass that along to the person that is responsible for uh, checking these serial numbers. So if you're not collecting serial numbers, uh, you can still use the date and time. But uh, in order to get the serial number into ToolsNet, this will have to be passed along to the tool or the controller before the operator initiates the rundown. So this is for retroactive analysis of data that you have in the database. But what you can do is you can also save this as a favorite a global favorite and based on that with a notification rule I can monitor data that comes in from the station so whenever I get a new result that is okay but somehow touches the box that I just defined it will send me an email alert so I can check it out Now that is how you use the box analysis tool. If you would like to learn more, please contact your local Atlas Copco representative. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.